Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm on here with a little AliExpress dye haul. So I've been going a little bit crazy with dyes lately and I'm having all kinds of fun playing with them. I've recently been creating these gorgeous little bows with a dye I bought or showed in one of my previous AliExpress haul videos. And also using those cute little gems. So I thought they turned out so adorable. And then I made some of the um, the flowers as well. Using a flower dye. And those gems. And I just um, propped up all the sides to give them a really good dimension. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun playing with dyes. So I have some more to share with you today. And yeah, then I'll have to create some beautiful things with these as well. So um, the first thing I ended up receiving was this. It's kind of like a, I guess, a Starbucks dye or a bubble tea dye, whichever, you know, um, brand name you want to call it so you basically get the cup and then you get like the bubble um, plastic dome bit that goes on the cup you get the little labels you get the straw and you also get the ice cream that goes on top or you could use the um or you could turn it into like a little like coffee cup as well so you can basically make it into whatever you want. You can make it into a bubble tea. You can make it into like a Starbucks ice cream, you know, frappe looking embellishment. You've got like all the little bits and pieces that go with it. So there's even like a little heart there if you want to pop like a little heart and make it into a cute um, coffee cup. Or you can make it like an iced, iced sort of drink like an iced chocolate or something yummy like that so I thought that was really cute I love that it has like the bubble the bubble tea dome so I think that's probably what I'll be creating with it like a bubble tea type embellishment seeing as though that's my thing and I'll leave all the links down below as well to these if they're still available for those of you wanting to yeah find them and purchase them so then we have a this heart die i thought this would make a really beautiful layering piece for in the background of a project it's kind of like your scribble not your scribble heart type pattern is the best way i can describe it so i thought that'd be really beautiful especially if you um so I cut this out in like gold glitter card stock or gold foil card stock. I think that would be really beautiful. And these were all really good prices as well. And I thought that the dies were going to be a lot smaller than this. So they when they arrived, I was quite surprised at like how big they were. So yeah, this would be really good to do on a bigger sort of project. But if you're wanting to make a smaller project, that's where it sort of wouldn't really suit. Uh, I then found this die here, which is an interesting um, kind of like a banner die. So it reminds me basically of, you know, when you would go to a show, like to the circus or the theatre, and they have that ruffled up um, piece up the top of like the stage, like the curtain. That's sort of what that reminds me of. Again, I thought this would be a lot um, lot smaller, but yeah, it's quite quite a decent size. But this could make a really nice um, like bag topper if you layered that onto a one of your bag toppers and maybe stuck down some beautiful trim or tool or something as well. That could be really pretty. So just for something a little bit different. And yeah, I just, I don't know, it just gives me circus vibes and theatre vibes. So I think this would go really well with something 
fun like the Carousel Collection by Maggie Holmes. And then we have this one here. So this one I also grabbed as kind of like a layering piece. So this is meant to be a... Um, oh, what do you call them? I'm having a blank now. I've completely forgotten what these are called. You like blow on them and they give you, you know, meant to give you wishes. <laughs> I'm having a total blank, guys. Oh my gosh. This always happens to me when I'm on camera. It's like I know what it's called, but I can't think of what it's called right now. And I know there are you guys out there and you're probably like yelling at the camera to me right now, like what it is. <laughs> It'll come to me eventually. Um, so it's basically, um, I grabbed this to use as a layering piece. I thought it would like look really pretty, um, when using, for example, like when I'm creating maybe like a, a flower embellishment to use that in between as like a layering piece, only I didn't think it would be so big. So it's quite a decent size. So you would... Actually, it would look really good like on a rosette. So if you had a rosette, um, give me a sec. Now, oh, this rosette's on this topper that I created. But just as an example, you could do your rosette, then your layering piece, and then decorate it up and, and things like that, just as an example. But, you know, I'm like, I'm so stuck on what that's called now. I've gone completely blank. So then next we have this little jar. I thought it was so cute. You could use this little jar and create little like um, embellishments. So you could make it into possibly a shaker, I'm hoping. It actually looks like, hold on, I haven't opened these and I have a feeling there's like, it looks like there's two in here. Just bear with me. Yes, so there we go. You can turn this one into a shaker so you've got like your little jar piece and your pieces on top and your labels if you want to put labels and you could turn them into like a little like um like fairy jar like a pixie fairy jar or you could turn them into like a crafty jar or like a little witch's brew jar um yeah, you could put little pieces in there, like make it look even like a candy jar if you wanted to. There's like so many ideas for this. I believe it was called like a little fairy jar. So it's meant to be like magical. So you could put like a little cute like Tinkerbell or something like that in there as an example. But um, or a little fairy and some like or some pixie dust or something like that. Um so yeah, I thought that would be really cute. You could also make it into like, maybe look at, make it, oh my gosh, sorry, I can't speak today. Like a gumball type um, embellishment. Um, you could put, make it look like a paper clips jar or a buttons jar or anything like that. So yeah, or a little sequins jar. So I thought that would be really cute. Next, we have these beautiful wings. I They're meant to be like angel wings. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Angel wings. Uh, you could, yeah, I thought they'd be really pretty. You could also use them as fairy wings if you wanted to. I thought they would look really lovely as a layering background piece. For example, if you had like a um, a die of maybe like a like a girl or a stamp of a girl or um, ballerina or something like that, and you could pop the 
the wings on the back. I thought that would be really pretty. So that's why I grabbed those. I just thought they'd be really interesting to have for something a bit different. So you could pop, yeah, do like your angel wings or, yeah, fairy wings and then pop something in between. And I think that would look really, really pretty. So that's why I grabbed that one. Um, then we have like a little uh, beach hut or beach house die. And, um, yeah, I thought this would just be quite interesting to use when you're creating like your summer tropical themed, you know, like summer holidays type um, mail. So I thought that would make a really cute little embellishment. It doesn't even have to be a, you know, little beach hut or beach house it could just be any house you could turn it into depending on how you um decorate it so it could even go really well with um market square or garden party and you don't have to put like the circular pieces in and you could just turn it into a cute little little like um cottage and i just remembered the name of this piece <laughs> Dandelion was the word I was looking for. So this is a dandelion die. So there we go. I told you it would come to me eventually. I just get so forgetful when I'm filming. So next we have this flower die here. I wanted some different flower dies. Um, I didn't have a lot of flower dies. I don't have a lot of bow dies and things like that. So... So I've been going a little bit nuts on, on dyes lately, just trying to build up my stash and have a bit of variety. So as you could see with my the um, flower dye I have here, they're kind of more um, rounded sort of oval edges, more like a daisy, I guess. So it's a lot more rounded, whereas um, this one here is more pointy. So I just wanted to try the difference in um, in the flowers, see how the embellishments turn out. And I've been buying all kinds of pretty centerpieces lately so I can, yeah, make a variety. So this one's obviously going to be a much bigger flower than this one unless you're only using these um, three pieces here and not this big large one but this big large one you could probably even maybe use with possibly the um, the dandelion you probably put that in the back and then layer it up and that could look quite cute so last die to share with you is a butterfly die so I wanted a new butterfly die and I wanted one that was layered but had enough space in between here so I can do stitching or I can fit the staple in between because a lot of the butterfly dies that I do have in my crafty stash um the bit in between isn't big enough to fit a staple or to stitch it's quite narrow and they just come apart so I would rather have a thicker piece in the middle that's um, better to work with so I could easily fit one of my pink staples in the middle of this this butterfly and you could also do some good stitching in between those pieces too without it sort of um, tearing the paper So stay tuned guys, there's going to be a video coming out shortly where I'm going to be making some more uh, flower embellishments and another um, possibly bow embellishment and maybe even the butterflies as well just so you guys can see how they um, turn out and end up looking. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll leave the links down below if they're available and thanks for watching guys. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.